Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to find confidence intervals for mu. So mu is the population mean. So all of the questions will say find a confidence interval for the mean. So there are two cases when you're finding confidence intervals for the mean. Uh, the first case is if they give you sigma. So if sigma is given. So what is sigma? Sigma is the population standard deviation. So if they give you the population standard deviation, uh, you want to use Z. Okay, so in the StatCrunch software, that equates to using Z statistics. So basically, you go over here, you click on stat, then you go to Z stats, and then you pick the number of samples you have. We'll have one sample and the problems that follow. And then you just pick with data or with summary. If they give you the numbers, you pick with data. If they give you a summary of the data, you will use with summary. All right, so case one, they give you the population standard deviation. In that case, you use Z. Case two, sigma is not given. So if they don't give you the population standard deviation, one of two things will happen. Either they will give you a bunch of numbers and nothing else, or they'll give you the sample standard deviation. So let me write sometimes S is given in this case. So in these cases, you use what's called T. You use T. So it's the same as before, except you go to stat, T stats, and then you pick the samples, and then you go from there. OK, let's do a couple simple examples just to really make the point. So in both of these problems, we're going to find confidence intervals for the mean. So in both cases, let's leave the confidence level at 95%. In this case, let's say they give us uh, the sample mean of 50, the population standard deviation of 10, and a sample size of 45. So in this case here, they give us the population standard deviation right and we're going to find a confidence interval for the mean so in this case we're going to use Z so let me show you how to do it you go to stat Z stats one sample with summary we have a summary of the data so we click it then you enter the sample mean the sample mean is always X bar so it's 50 the standard deviation that's the population standard deviation that's Sigma that's 10 and then the sample size is 45. It's a hypothesis test from you. That's not what we're doing. We want a confidence interval. So we'll select confidence interval. We'll leave it at 95, and you click compute. And the answers are here, the lower limit and the upper limit. So if you were writing this on paper, you'd write this with the parentheses. I'll use whole numbers, 47, comma, and then 53. So this would be a 95% confidence interval for the population mean. So we would say with 95% confidence, the population mean is between 47 and 53. What this does is it provides a range of values for your unknown mean. In this problem, there was no context. context. We don't know what the mean was, um, but that's, that's what it does. In this example here, again, we have 95%. And let's say that x bar is 40. Let's say n is uh, 35. And let's say they give us the sample standard deviation of 12. So in this case, they don't give us the population standard deviation. Instead, they give us the sample standard deviation. See, S is given. In this case, we're going to use T. OK, use T. So we go over to StatCrunch. We go to Stat, T stats, one sample with summary. And you left click. And then you enter everything. So the sample mean in this case is 40. The sample standard deviation, that's S, that's 12. And the sample size is 35. This is a confidence interval, so we select that. Leave it at 95%, click Compute. And there's our answer. Again, I'll use whole numbers. So the answer would be parentheses 36, comma, 44. This would be a 95% confidence interval for the population mean. So if they give you the population standard deviation, you want to use Z. If they give you, if they don't give it to you, you want to use T. Usually when they give you S, they're not giving you the sigma, so you use T. The very last case, 
the very last case we have is if they just give you a bunch of numbers. So let's, let's go ahead and, and, and do one just for completeness. Say they give us a bunch of data. Let's keep the numbers simple. Two, two, uh, three, four, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. And let's say they tell us that these numbers come from a population that's normal. So everything's okay. We can, we can do the math or StatCrunch can do the math for us. And let's find a confidence interval for the mean. So in this case, they don't give us anything, right? They don't give us anything, just numbers. So they don't give us the population standard deviation. So in this case, we use T. And again, the reason is it's because sigma is not given, right? They're not giving us the population standard deviation. That's pretty much the case every time. Whenever they give you a bunch of numbers, they're probably not going to give you the population standard deviation, so you can use T. Let's type everything in. So we have 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8. Then you go to stat, T stats, one sample, except this time we pick with data, right? Because we have the data. That's the difference. Let me do that again. Stat, T, one sample with data. And then you select the data. The data is in the column. Well, I'm going to close it and do it again. See, it's called var1. So stat, t, one sample with data. Hit the left click var1 so that it's blue. And then select confidence level. We left it at 95 for convenience. And then click compute. Boom, there it is. There's the confidence level. I'll use two decimals this time. So the confidence level, or confidence interval, sorry, would be 3.55 and 6.67. So that would be the confidence interval rounded to two decimals. So uh, that's all three cases that you'll see, right? So if they give you the population standard deviation, which is sigma, you want to use z. If they don't give it to you, two, one of two things is going to happen. Either they're going to give you a bunch of numbers, or they'll give you the sample standard deviation. In either case, you use t. That's it.